In two years, the Supreme Court will hear arguments against the right of states to protect marriage and the Federal Defense of Marriage Act. Judicial activism is the reason the courts are even considering this case. The Supreme Court should uphold these laws. It must recognize that the American people should make these decisions, not unelected judges. We're told that social issues divide Americans and that we should stop talking about them. We cannot. Economic and social conservatism go hand in hand. They're, they're natural allies. Strong families, churches, and volunteer institutions build strong character and economic independence. And government must always, I mean, our government must always uh, endow our, our we are endowed by our Creator with liberty and the pursuit of happiness, and certainly this right should apply to the unborn. And this is something we should continue to When government under, understands its limited role, it can be small, people can be free, and the economy can create prosperity for everyone. And when government grows larger, with programs like Obamacare, that consumes so much of our lives. It, it tramples on both economic freedom and religious liberty. This has united conservatives of all stripes to fight to end Obamacare so we can all be free to live our lives in the way we choose. Conservatives can unite America with a platform of federalism that moves dollars and decisions back to the states and the people. Let's encourage the states to compete for the best business environment and the best quality of life. States should have the freedom to determine how best to meet the needs of their students. For health care, let states use private contracting for Medicaid to deliver better health care for more people at a lower cost. Federalism means letting states have Medicaid waivers to serve those most in need more effectively and more efficiently. More dollars would be available for roads and bridges if states kept more of their own gas tax dollars and made more of their own infrastructure decisions. States can grow their economies if the federal government would get out of the way and let them develop their own energy resources. The less we try to do at the federal level, the more we can unite our country around our ideas. Federal programs are failing, and they're bankrupting our nation. The states are proving that conservative ideas deliver better results for all citizens. Another area where we can, as conservatives, unite America is in foreign policy and defense. Americans want a strong defense, but they're tired of endless wars. The conservative platform for defense and foreign relations can be summarized with two words, strength and focus. The White House, by contrast, has created confusion around the world by not leading and threatening our security by gutting our defense. If we want a strong defense and a strong foreign policy that serves the interest of the American people, we must act with clarity and judgment. We must defend our homeland, protect American interests, and limit foreign entanglements. The world expects us to lead but we must do it with strength and focus. I've talked a lot tonight about what conservatives need to do to take control of our ideas, our message, and how we need to connect with the American people. We can't wait for Republicans to advance the conservative cause. It is our job to make our ideas so winsome to the American people that they become irresistible to politicians. The voices of the new and bold conservatives in the House and Senate will certainly help, but it is our responsibility as conservative leaders to build support for our ideas among the voters. Milton Friedman explained it this way. He said, I do not believe that the solution to our problem is simply to elect the right people. The important thing is to establish a political climate of opinion which makes it politically profitable for the wrong people to do the right thing. <laughs> Unless it is politically profitable for the wrong people to do the right thing, 
the right people will not do the right thing either. Or if they try, they will shortly be out of office, end quote. That's my main point tonight. It's why I left the Senate to lead the Heritage Foundation and to help lead the conservative movement. We must take control of our ideas and our message. We must win the hearts and minds of the American people, all of the American people. We must help Americans see the connection between their hopes and dreams and the public policies that will help them achieve their goals. Then they will vote for the right ideas and the candidates who support them. We can and we will unite America around the principles of freedom. We will develop a simple, inspiring platform based on competitive federalism that unites rather than divides America. That is my hope and dream, and it is my commitment to you. Please pray for our country and all those who defend it, those in uniform, and all those who stand with us tonight for the cause of freedom. Thank you. God bless you.